All right, guys, this is the sampling thing. If you guys want to watch it, you can watch me. If not, that's all right. Um, so this is how you would import a sample into your track. Command Shift I. I go to the desktop, or I go to the sample folder, which for you guys is going to be the the 808 pack. But I'm going to start with a kick. Um, I'm just going to choose a random one. Let's see. Long distance. Okay. Usually you'd go to your finder and listen there if you can't audition them here. Okay. So once I convert it and say done, it's going to ask where I want to put it. You're going to make sure that the audio files folder that pulls up is right above your session name. So it's correct, so I say choose, and I say new track. Now it's there, and I can play it. All right, so I like that a lot. Let me add another one. This time I'm gonna try to do it a different way. I'm gonna press mono audio track, and I'm gonna go to my finder and listen to my sample there. Find a clap, so it'll play. All right, I like that one. I'm gonna click and drag, but while I'm clicking and dragging, I'm gonna command tab over and get to Pro Tools. So I'll show you how I did that again. Click, see how it's in my hand, command tab. Now I'm still holding command. I let go of command. And I drop it where I want it. All right. Now I can hold Option, click and drag this over, and get another clap in there. Okay. And I'm also making sure that all of my parameters are set correctly. So I got to make sure grid mode is on. Make sure that that's on maybe 16th note. I got to make sure this is saying bars and beats. I want to make sure my smart tool is selected and by clicking this top bar. I want to make sure that, that says grid in all blue. I can double check that in my transport window. And I make sure my tempo's what I set. Make sure the count off is one bar. I can fix that right here and make sure that these are both bars and beats, okay? Once it's set, I can see all these division lines as I go along. All right. All right, so let's say I like my sample, but I wanna make it shorter. I can hold the command button, get the mouse over here to where it looks like so. I'm going to hold command, click, and drag. And this puts it temporarily in what's called slip mode, which means it slips around without locking to any grid. Okay? Then I can fade it out so it doesn't sound really weird. Like that. I want it to slowly go away, so I put a fade on it. All right? That's how that works. Now, what I can do is add in another sample, Command Shift I, and I'm gonna go to my hi-hats, press convert, press done, and I'm going through these steps over and over again so you don't have to rewind or anything like that. Um, I click and hold Option, drag it over, look at that. I wanted it right here though. So what I need to do is click here, change the 16 to a 32, and you'll notice more bars will show up. So those blue bars will show up and I'll be able to click and drag it over. Okay.
So to show that one more time, right now, the previous way we just had this was like so, and you see these blue bars are spaced apart kind of far. I need more bars so when I click and drag it over, it snaps. So I need to click on this, the grid over there, change that to a higher number or to a smaller fraction. All right. Now, right here, you have more division lines. Hopefully, that makes sense. Now, another way I can uh, click and drag without having to click, click and drag is if I get zoomed in here. If I click this, press Command C, make it a cursor, and go to the next area I want, and press Command V, I can paste it and keep going like that. Once I like a rhythm I have, and it stops at the end of a bar, I can copy that whole entire section with Command C and Command V it right there. But this will only work in grid mode, otherwise it'll be all over the place. Now I can also highlight something, press Command R, or Option R, I'm sorry, and repeat it as many times as I need. Once I have that set up the way I like it, I can select all of this, Command C, and Command V, Command V, Command V. We had a problem here, so I'm gonna Command Z, Command Z, Command Z. I'm gonna select it all, and for all of these to paste over, I have to make sure that I have a group open and it's the all group, so everything will copy when I do this. Okay, that's the last step.